before we get started, I have to tell you, never observe the sun without proper protection. Whether that's a solar telescope, a white light filter, whatever it may be, you need to be practicing safe solar. So with that out of the way, let's get on to the review. Hey guys, Mike of Mike Likes with another quick episode for you. And today I thought I'd take advantage of a rare sunny day in the Ohio winter and show you a solar telescope. This is a Coronado Personal Solar Telescope. It's made by Coronado Solar, which was acquired by Mead Instruments. There was a gentleman, um, I believe his last name was Lunt, and he came up with these out in uh, Arizona, and he since passed away, and I believe his son started Lunt Solar Systems, which is a another company that makes solar telescopes. But anyway, this was kind of the first personal solar telescope to be, I guess you could say, an approachable price, an accessible instrument for, you know, amateurs like ourselves. And what we've got here is the ability to observe the sun, which you can see it washing out my camera lens. You observe the sun in hydrogen alpha. And hydrogen alpha is a very, very tiny part of the light spectrum that is safe for the human eyeball to observe through what's called a filter, which they call etalons. It's this, well, it's controlled by this ring over here. This is not a focus ring. This would be your focus ring. This etalon adjusts what you can see on the sun in terms of filaments, in terms of solar flares, sunspots, the, you know, the, what the sun is made of. It's funny that our closest star, the sun, happens to be a yellow dwarf, but our closest star, the sun, is the most dangerous one to look at because if you look at it through a regular telescope, you can go blind. So, so if we look at it through here, I'm going to see if I can kind of show you guys what I'm seeing when I observe in there. And there's the sun in all its glory in hydrogen alpha. And if you're paying very close attention, you can see the uh, the flares on the edge of it, which is really cool. There's no real sunspots right now, but sometimes you get that. So that's kind of, there's a sunspot there. So that's kind of what it looks like. And, you know, you can attach cameras to this, but the personal solar telescope is kind of designed for visual use. And that's what you see. So, yeah, really neat. This um this black piece here is just a filter what uh, what sunlight is coming to your eye because obviously you're not able to see the sun that well if you're you know outside and the glare is coming through but yeah how cool is that you can see the clouds those are clouds steaming by the sun so it's partly cloudy out but you can still see a lot of the the uh, the characteristics of the sun and it's a really neat thing to observe because you know unlike uh, regular telescope you don't have to wait for nightfall you can do it in the dead of summer in the dead of winter you just need a clear day or somewhat clear if there's clouds on the other side that's not a big deal and you can align it with uh, any kind of automated mount you want my you know standard next star se mount is tracking the sun all day and you can do that it gives you these convenient places to put your eyepieces this is the 18 millimeter that it comes with just a really neat little instrument and considering you can get these used for you know, three, four, five hundred dollars, that's a far cry from what they used to cost, which was on the order of thousands. And if you're so inclined, you can even use a double stack, which is to say you have your one edelon here. They sell a, a version of this, which has a double stack where you put one on the end here, and that lets you see even more deep details on the sun, where you would use both edelons in conjunction with one another to resolve what you want to resolve. If you see this little dot here, it's quite ingenious. You can't use a regular finder scope on this because obviously a finder scope you'd be staring at the sun which is dangerous this guy filters out the sun and when you know that you're focused you've got the sun appearing right there in your finder and the sunlight comes in right on this side here so it's looking and in there you see the telescope it accepts it there this is kind of what it looks like you know from there sunlight goes in it filters it through the etalon and there you go so yeah if you guys are considering a solar telescope i highly recommend taking a look at the coronado personal solar telescope just because from an economy standpoint this is a device that only looks at one object you don't want to spend thousands of dollars if you're not passionate about it but if you want to try something that's you know a little bit more accessible you can definitely get try this scope out and you won't spend thousands of dollars for you know, a Coronado Solar Systems telescope or something really, really pricey, you can get into H-Alpha Solar Viewing for an accessible price. I knew they're a lot of money, but they often come up used in the classified sections, things like that. So thanks for being with me today. Um, as always, if you guys can throw a thumbs up on the video, that's hugely helpful. Subscribe to the channel. I try to post stuff weekly. I hope you have a great day, clear skies, and I'll see you next time.